What is up, Cappy Caps? This is Vicky from Valkyrie Tarot coming at you for your love and soulmate reading for the first half of May 2020. So this will run from about the 1st to the 15th, roughly, or whenever you fall on it. <clears throat> um, those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I uh, was offering discounted readings in April, and I've had a lot of people contact me and ask me when I'm going to do it again. So this is when we're doing it again. Uh, I'm going to do the same um, discount for the 1st to the 15th of May. Okay, so if you order during that time, it's uh, basically a dollar a minute, either 15 minutes or half an hour. If you're interested, there is information below on how to set that up with me. And any of you that may have previously ordered a, uh, a reading, you can get $5 off your reading for the entire month of May. So that's fun. Uh, if you're interested, check out the info below. All right, cap. Oh, I was just about to go, and then that fell. Queen of Cups in reverse. So somebody is emotionally blocked right now. They're a little shut off. Cancerian energy. <clears throat> All right. You know how it goes. First card is you. All right. Knight of Swords. So not being able to think on your feet. Not being able to communicate what you need clearly. Six of Swords over here for your loved one. So somebody is in the energy of not being able to move out of their, um, you know, frustration, not being able to sail out of calm sea or out of rough seas into calmer waters. Energy between the two of you is the Eight of Swords. So um, somebody feels trapped. Somebody's really burdened by this, but it's a mental entrapment. Um, it's like something that they've put on themselves. The challenge is the Nine of Wands. Somebody just doesn't feel like they have the energy to give it a final go. And then the blockage, interesting, is the Empress. So Empress energy is the mother of the tarot. Um, very nurturing, very empathetic, very helpful, very loving. You know, this is, this is someone who's going to help you no matter what. Past situation from your point of view, we have the Five of Pentacles. So... You've had to kind of pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and be your own hero here. <clears throat> Past situation for your loved one over here is the Ten of Cups. Ultimate happiness, family, marriage, all of that stuff. Emotional fulfillment. Outcome from your point of view is the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this could mean disappointment or it could mean that you're not moving on from this relationship to go to another one. Okay? Outcome from your loved one's point of view is moving forward with the chariot. Triumphant return. Overall outcome, we have the three of cups energy. So uh, third party energy. Now it's not always cheating. It could just be putting energy into something else that's not the relationship. So it could be spending more time with friends or it could be a romantic partner. It could just be emotionally connecting with someone who's not you. You guys will know how it resonates if you are like, oh my God, that's it. <laughs> it might resonate with you all right energy under the deck we got the four of wands in reverse so a lack of stability a lack of foundation a lack of commitment in this relationship blockage of a twin flame union as well what is this knight of swords knight of swords in reverse being clarified by the king of wands in reverse so somebody doesn't know what to say because they're lacking courage that's leo energy Lacking courage to move forward, lacking courage to communicate, but they're, <laughs> wow, they might have a lot of fire in their chart. So Aries energy with the fool, but they don't know whether they, sh like, you don't know, sorry, this is you, you don't know whether you should take a blind leap of faith or not, or if you should just move on, um, because you're lacking confidence, you don't know what to say, you don't know how to communicate this. So what is this Six of Swords about from your loved one here? Feeling like they're down on their luck. Feeling like something's just not right. And needing balance between the two of you. Being patient. Trying to be patient and see how this goes. <coughs> What's this eight of swords about? It's the justice card. Yeah. So someone's really anxious about this because there's a lack of balance between the two of you. 
Mm, because something needs to end. Something needs to end in order to grow and um, like spiritually grow or move forward in this relationship. Something needs to be left behind. So <clears throat> justice can also mean a legal proceeding. So like a divorce or, you know, something like that. So if that resonates with you, take it as it comes. All right. Yeah, someone doesn't know if they have what it takes anymore. They don't They don't want to go give a final push at this because of a breakup between the two of you. Because of a focus on other people outside of this relationship. Okay, so three cups in the upright is friends. It's being social. It's wanting to just get out and do anything but commit or put energy into this relationship. This could also be a reunion of like coming together after a long period of time too. So just like, you know. All right, the Empress is being reflected with the world in reverse. So whatever is going on between the two of you, it isn't over. You haven't come to a full cycle yet because something is hidden. Cancerian, Pisces energy. Interesting. Um, something's still hidden here. What's hidden? What's blocking? There's a fear here. Yeah, the, it's... There's disappointment. There's sadness. King of Cups, yeah. So you're you're definitely all ready to be committed. Like you know what you want. You want this relationship. Queen of Swords in reverse, though. Like so, <laughs> I think you were hurt, and uh, you said something that might have been hurtful to the other person. Yeah, Three of Swords. Yeah, because they're heartbroken. You might have just lashed out, Cap. And not thought about what you were saying. Yeah, it, they're heartbroken and they're really in despair about this. They're really upset, um, really emotional over this. Six of Wands. Your ego was definitely, your ego in the future is going to come into question though. There's that Nine of Wands. You don't know if you want to give this another go anymore because of what happened. And your loved one doesn't know if they're, they're going to move forward because they don't feel like this can ever be an even give and take. And they want a new beginning with someone else. So this is three of wands. The emperor, controlling energy. The chariot, moving forward. Nine of cups, wanting a wish come true. And ten of cups, interesting. So this third party energy, got the ace of swords in reverse too, underneath the deck. Um, so there's something that is being hidden, something that's not being talked about. I feel like, Cap, I feel like your loved one is just going to kind of, they're so upset about all of this that they're just going to walk away. They're just going to be like, you know what, I'm, I'm heartbroken over this, I'm disappointed over this, I'm going to move forward because I'm not getting what I need out of this relationship and I'm going to try and find love elsewhere. And honestly, I think you guys are both going to... You guys are both going to like move forward and find happiness with someone else. This Emperor in Reverse card, though, that shows me that's Aries energy again. That's a very controlling and manipulative energy. And Cap, it might be you. Like your, your person might see you as controlling and manipulative because of something that went on here. Could have been this Queen of Swords response. You might have said something hurtful. Could be this fact that there's a lack of balance, you know, or there's something hidden here that still needs to be revealed, you know, like, I think your loved one over here was probably this, <coughs> this empress over here, but you, maybe you, if it resonates with you, it, 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 like you're, you were so confident about how you felt emotionally and maybe they just weren't ready yet. And then all of a sudden you were like, well, you know what? Fine. <laughs> You know, and, and it might have just caused an upheaval of things. In the end of this, though, you're going to get your wish come true. You guys are going to be happy either with each other or without each other. Either way, you guys are going to survive this. But I'm reading this more as your loved one is going to be happier with someone else. They're going to move on. They're going to find their happiness elsewhere. And I think you're going to have to put your work in to try and get back to your dream, your wish come true. Okay? All right, I almost, hmm. all right, can I get some, okay, some more energy. 
Spirit of the Wolf, Loner, Fierce Instincts. Yeah, Cap, I think that's you. New Chapter, Development, Unfinished Business. So I think that's moving onwards, yeah. Spirit of Armor, Defense, Tactical, and Guarded. Cap, I think that you're just really blocked. Like, you're really just guarded about your heart, and your loved one is just not going to put up with it. You know? Like, <clears throat> the problem is, is, like, you guys get so... You care about someone so much, but you don't know how to, like, express it. So when it comes out, it comes out as, like, forcefulness, almost. And not a lot of other signs can deal with that or read that. I just want you to be happy. That's the message from your loved one to you. So kind of like, hey, like, if I can make you happy, I'm sorry. But, like, I just want you to find your happiness, even if it's not with me. And that's true love, honestly. That's that's unconditional love. That's understanding that, like, hey, maybe we didn't work out, but I still want, almost, I still want what's best for you. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, Cap. Um, not a great reading. If this resonates with you guys, sorry. But it's more of a... I think you need to let go of this other person. I think it's time to move on. You obviously cared about them a lot. But um, something happened between the two of you that just caused just a break between the two of you that I don't think can be healed right now. Not unless this truth down here gets revealed. You know, something something has to be revealed down here. Now keep in mind the world is in reverse. So this isn't over with. There's no closure yet. So you might be able to heal this in the future, but I think you need to take some space. Let your loved one kind of find happiness. Um, heal all of that. And you need to heal and maybe move on. Um, and who knows, you guys might find your way back together. You might not. You might find something better on the other side. Only you will know. All right, Cap. Hopefully this resonated with you guys. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. If it didn't, that's totally cool. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Deuces!